Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create your own Christmas ornaments using tile. They took me under 20 minutes to create from start to finish. I love how they turned out and you won't believe how easy these are to create. So stay tuned and see how you can create your own Christmas ornaments, including these adorable snowman couple. These are beautiful Christmas ornaments and they are so easy to create. You need to start with some sort of design, so I chose seven of these to work with. Um, these ones looked really good to me, they look pretty easy to kind of weed out I guess. Um, but I purchased all these from design bundles, I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in purchasing them. The only thing that you have to do once you have your designs ready is to resize them. Um, I bought this SVG file off of Etsy, and it's the exact size of my ornament that I'm going to be using. Um, it's kind of funny to call it an ornament because it's actually a backsplash piece, but people have been turning them into ornaments. So I wanted to give it a try. So let's see how they turn out. So this is the exact size. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to do anything to it. So the only thing I need to do is put these actually inside of it and resize it. Instead of trying to figure out or say each one is a certain size, it's just easier to kind of visualize it. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get as big as I can inside of it with it looking okay. And um, you can change the color on it if you want. Um, and do whatever else you need, but this is basically it. This is why I said it's really easy. So this one is done. I like the way it looks. I like the size of it. And I'm just gonna go to the next one. And just basically all I'm doing is taking this little two-way, I don't know what you wanna call it, two-way arrows and kind of just pushing it to make it smaller. And I don't wanna unlock it because I want the same, whoops, I want the same width and height of it. So I, it's still too small and I keep grabbing the ornament. That's why I keep going away. I'm trying to grab, it won't let me, <laughs> of course. It won't let me grab this little piece. So I'm just going to take it and make it a little bit smaller. And your size of your ornament might be smaller than mine, depending on where you get it. Believe it or not, they're all different. I purchased mine, oh, wow, a few months ago actually from Lowe's. So mine would be different than the one that you would buy from Home Depot. So I can't tell you this one is 2.704 by 2.371. I can't tell you that because yours might be different than mine. So always make sure to resize it to what you want. So I think this one looks pretty good to me too. So I'm just gonna move this guy. This one is my favorite, Let It Snow. So I had an idea. I bought some um, holographic vinyl a while back. I think I bought it from Amazon. I'll have to look it up. And I'm gonna do this one like a blue holographic one. I thought that would look really cool. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, resize it. I told you guys this one's gonna be really easy to do. I'm not doing anything else to it. This is the only thing I'm doing is just resizing them and then going back and changing the colors to the whatever colors I want. So like I said, I know this one is gonna be the holographic blue one, so I might as well change it. So I'm gonna go up to the color box up here and I'm just gonna pick a light blue color. So I know that that's gonna go on a blue mat and be different than these ones. I think these ones, I also have uh, a holographic color, but I'm gonna do like, um, more of a red color for these. So I'm just gonna take it and go to the color box and change the color really quick to, let's see, I'll just do this red and do the same thing with this so I don't forget when I'm cutting out. So these two will go on the same mat when I'm cutting it out. So I'm just gonna finish this really quick. You want to make sure you weld these together. I already did that because if you don't, you're going to have little cut marks right here with each piece that is touching, like the snow one. If this, if you don't weld it here, you're going to have a little cut mark with each one of these. So I always take mine and weld them. I don't attach them because that will still show the cut lines. I weld them every time, which I already did. So everything will cut out as one piece is how it looks. So. All of these are finished. I really like how they look. We'll start with her because she is different pieces as well. So I'm going to try to make this one as big as I possibly can to fit in here. But oh my gosh, isn't that cute? 
Oh my gosh, I love it. I think I'll print a couple of these out because those are really cute. So then I'm just going to do the same thing with this guy. Just grab him, make him a little bit smaller so he fits into the ornament. But guys, I'm in love with this one. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And it's perfect because it's a white ornament. So you can't get any better than that. So I love how they all look. I think I'm just going to change this one maybe to a gold color. I guess this brown will work. And maybe this one too. This Merry Christmas to all do a gold. I'm not sure. We'll see what they turn out to be. But as long as you change the color now, it'll go on different mats for you. So you don't have to worry about cutting them out later. And this guy I don't need. Um, actually, now I'm thinking about it. If you want a back to your ornament, you're going to want to save this. And you could cut out cardstock. You could cut out felt if you have the Cricut Maker. I'm not sure if the other machines cut out felt. Um, you could use fabric and cut this shape out and hot glue it to the back of your ornament. I haven't really decided yet what I want to do. I did buy some sticky backing felt, if that makes sense, from Amazon, and it's red just for this purpose. So maybe I'll cut out a few of these with the felt. I've never used felt before, so I'll let you guys know how it goes, but I just think the back of it just looks so plain and if you're trying to sell this or give it away as gifts you want to make it look really nice so maybe I'll make seven of these and I'll give it a try maybe I'll try cardstock I'll try the felt um maybe if I can find some fabric I'll do it that way but just I'm gonna make seven of these really quick and I'll let you guys know how it turns out but I'm gonna just duplicate it seven times So there, so I have seven of them to go on all seven of these, but I've never done it before, so we'll see how it turns out, but I'll let you guys know. And if you're interested, I'm going to be doing a uh, Grinch ornament just like this, but I'm going to be doing it a different color where I can color the ornament itself so it's not white and it's actually green. So stay tuned for that. That will be my next video. So the only thing I got to do is go to make it and I'll show you what it all looks like. So here are the white eyes. We're going to go to the next mat. Here's the red one that I'm going to be doing with the holographic one. Here's the orange for the carrot nose. And sometimes they do this. I don't know why. They're two different colors. So I don't know. You might know this. You might not. But here's a little trick. So I want them to be the same orange. So I'm just going to click on this one and click on this three little dots. And then I can move the object and I can change it to this orange one so they can both be on the same mat. So now you just got to move it over. So there. So this one is empty. This will not cut anything. But this will be my orange ones that come out. And let's see this brown and what I like to do is move them over just a little bit that I can get my scissors in between each piece um, You can do it. You don't have to do it. But it's just what I like to do. Here's the blue eyes Here is the oh, I cannot wait for this one the holographic blue one that we're going to be doing And here's another set of eyes, but I thought there was another set of eyes there So another thing I'm just gonna switch this so they're the same color click on the three dots move the object and then find it. I think it's this one and move them over so that they're, they're the same color. So then I don't have to use this mat either. This one mat will just go away. And here are my seven. And if you are cutting vinyl and if you're cutting the holographic vinyl and if you're cutting like the felt or fabric or anything, you're going to have to do the settings differently. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. The base material is what I was talking about. So these ones were just regular vinyl for the first one. So I'm going to just go to um, just the stencil vinyl for this one. And I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's the stencil vinyl. I love this one. When I cut on any kind of stencil or any kind of vinyl, I use this one. And I leave it on the default pressure. It's telling me just to add my uh, fine point blade, which I already have in there. Uh, so let's go to one that is different. So this one. This one is the holographic one. Remember the blue that I was talking about. So I can go to base materials again. And I'm going to click this one, the premium vinyl holographic. And it's going to cut out a little bit differently. Um, I'm not sure how the maker knows it but it'll cut it out not as hard maybe as the stencil vinyl so if you are doing a couple different mats please go back and make sure that you're changing it because if you don't it'll just stay on whatever you were just doing so if I'm gonna do these I'm gonna go to the base material setting click on it and then I'm just gonna go to browse all because I've never used that before and I'm just gonna search for felt 
and see what comes up. So I think mine is just regular felt or maybe it's craft bonded. It might be craft bonded because like I said, the back of it is sticky. So it will stick right to the ornament itself. So I'm going to try this one first actually. And another thing, if you guys don't know this, if you just click this little star here, it'll bring it to your first page. So I click the star and it's going to add it right here for me. See, here it is. So if I ever use it again, I don't have to go and look for it again. I have it right here. So I'm actually going to try this first. I've never done these before. So we're going to see how these cut out and then I'll finish the rest. I'll weed them out and then I'll show you how they look. But I'm curious to see how this is going to work. I think I have to use my other blade. Um, it's not telling me that, but I was surprised. I thought you had to use a cutting blade. So we'll see. So stick around and stay tuned to see the next part. Like I said, I'll weed them out and then I'll show you the next part of putting them onto your ornament itself. I'm excited, guys. I, I, I cannot wait to have these finished and I can sell these at the local craft store that I do. So let's keep going. I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to show you what they look like, guys. I wanted to tell you really quick, I actually did cut these out and they turned out really, really well. I absolutely love this machine. So here it is. There are seven of them, but I have to make more. So here's the felt in the front, and then this is the backing. And then you peel this backing off, and it's sticky. So I bought the roll off of Amazon. It's quite larger than I thought it was. So it's just like this. It's got the felt, but it's huge. It's so much on here. But I just cut it down to size, and I put it on my mat. I put it on my purple mat, and then I took my squeegee and I rubbed really hard to make sure this went on really well. So I just wanna show you. So you put it in here like you normally do, but the difference is, is this little cutter thing here. So I'll show you really quick. So I put this in here, I traded it in. So it is the rotary cutter. I don't know if that shows up. There we go. It's the rotary cutter for the maker instead of your regular one. So you just put that in there, close it up, and then, oops, problems. And then I chose, um, let's see, it's called the felt wood fabric setting. So that's what I used on here. So I'm just gonna finish this up. I'm actually gonna take this out because it didn't go in properly. I'm gonna make sure it's in properly. And then it just does its magic. So I'm just going to push the key that's flashing and it's going to cut it out, but it takes a lot longer. And you can hear it. It's just moving around and detecting which cutter you have on. But it does take a little bit longer, but I want to tell you guys, I'm so happy that this is actually working. So it's going to take a while. It's going to go up and down. It's going to cut. It's going to move it where it needs to go but this is what they look like so i just wanted to show you it is on the felt setting i absolutely love this guys i'm so excited i've never cut a fabric or felt or anything besides vinyl and paper so this is really exciting so just you want to make sure it's the same size as your ornament which i did which is just a little bit smaller which is okay it still turned out really awesome so stay tuned for the next step i'll show you what it all looks like when it's done being weeded and once this is done i'll put it on the back but i'm excited i just wanted to show you guys this all right guys here comes the fun part i promise you so here are my files this is the holographic one i think it turned out amazing this is just a regular red one. Um, I love how they look. Here is the snowman faces. This is the lady that we're gonna have to put together with a few different pieces here. Um, very easy to put together. Um, and then here's just some other ones that I had also done. So I'm just using the same thing. I have these ornaments here that I bought from Home Depot. Uh, I think there's about 12 or 15 of them on here, um, but that's all I use. And I will show you one that I already did. Well, kind of did. I didn't finish this one yet. 2020 Survivor, barely. So here is the felt that I had cut out and put on the back. There's all the felt pieces, and I really like this because it has the, pla um, the sticky part in the back. So there's no gluing or anything that I have to do. So the only thing I need to do is just open up some of these ornaments really quick and then I'll show you what the back looks like as well um, because they are tiles backsplashes they obviously have some backing on it so I'm just pulling the backing off but here's what it looks like without anything on the back 
and here's the front, but they have this backing on it, so you just need to be very careful when you peel them off. So you're just going to peel it off, and you want to make sure you get it all off. So if you get a little bit on it, you can just pull it off. Really easy to come up. So I'm just going to pull a few of these off really quick. I just wanted to show you what they look like. I bought these months ago before even thinking about Christmas. And I'm trying to remember how much it was. I got it from Home Depot. And I think I bought three or four of these um, whole things here. So I'm just going to pull off one more. And I'll show you how to attach them. It's really simple. So much fun. I'm just going to start with a really simple one. I'm just really dying to do this one, the Let It Snow one. I love how it looks with the holographic on it. So I'm just going to leave it white. So I'm just going to take some transfer tape. And again, this is just dollar transfer tape. Oh my gosh, can't talk, guys. Dollar transfer tape. Sometimes I use the more expensive stuff, but sometimes I just use this stuff. So today I'm just going to use the cheaper stuff. So I'm just going to cut it down roughly to size, pull the back off and then stick it on here. And then, I'm not sure if I showed you guys already, but I love this scraper. It had a soft side to it here, and then it has a scraper side. And I love it because I can push it really hard, and I'm not worried about it ripping anything because it's got that soft covering over it. So I like to take my image, flip it upside down, and kind of work upside down to make sure I get everything off. Perfect. And then, basically, just put it on center where it goes. Just do your best. As I say with all crafts, you know, it's handmade, so it's never going to be perfect. So you just do your best at where you want to place it. And then take your scraper again and just scrape it on really, really well. Just like that. And then I just take my fingers and give it a little extra rub just in case I didn't get somewhere. And then just slowly peel back your transfer tape. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could actually see this, how it really looks, because I don't think the camera is doing it. I love it. I love it that it's holographic, that it like shines in different directions. It's different colors. It's like a blue color, so it kind of reminds me of snow a little bit. Um, so that is finished with that part. So I'm going to do the backing really quick. Like I said, this is just felt, and it has a little backing on it, and it's very sticky. And I just cut this out with the Cricut. And then you just kind of want to take it. If, the, if this is what you want to do, you don't have to do this. You can use um, like cardstock or any kind of paper and go that route and put a back on it. Or you can leave it the way it is. I just think it looks a little bit nicer with a little bit of the backing on it. So there. So one more step. So one other thing I did purchase from Amazon were these... I don't even know what they're called. I'd have to look. They're just little tiny hooks with the hole on it. So you can put like a ribbon or a wire or whatever you want. And then you just hot glue it to the back here. Oops, upside down. You just hot glue it to the back here. And then you can put whatever you want to hang it. So I have my hot glue here. Hopefully I'm not going to use too much. I, I need to get a new hot glue gun. Anybody have any recommendations on hot glue guns? Because... This one is not the best. I just picked this one up at Walmart, so I'm just gonna put a little dab, whoops. See, I came out way too quick. A little dab, got a little bit of extra here. Let's get those off and just flip it over. Kind of get it where I want it to go. Make sure you don't burn yourself, guys. So that is it. So I'm just holding it here for a couple seconds. I can feel these little pieces coming off, little strands. And if you have any extra up here, you can just use your nails, kind of scrape it off. But just like that, so pretty much this is done. I would not put anything on this, like any Mod Podge or anything. When I use um, vinyl, I always let it sit for a couple days and kind of let it cure. Because if you were to mess around with it right now, it's going to come off. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But I'm just going to finish it up and grab some wire or some ribbon or whatever and just put a bow at the top here and make it look really nice. So I have this really thick, well, not really thick, oops, sorry guys, this thicker ribbon, if I can get it off, from the dollar store that I bought. And it's kind of thicker. So what I did was I just cut it in half and then I already put it through the hole. 
So basically that's all you have to do. So I'll take my other piece, if I can find it, here we go. I just take the other piece and just, what I do is just fold it here and stick it through the hole there. And you can tie a bow, you can, I'm wondering if it would look good if you just even glue it like this and kind of leave it. I think that might look good or just leave like a, a bow at the top. I haven't really decided how I want to do it yet, but that is it. That was so simple to do that, right guys? And then it has a little bit of this glitter on it, so it's kind of neat when it's on there. I don't know if that shows up, but it's got a little bit of green glitter from this. So I'm going to finish this up later, but I'm just going to show you the next one. All right guys, so here comes the fun part. We get to do this snowman and or the snow guy and the snow lady. Is that how you say it? <laughs> snowman, snow lady. So she is really easy to do. Um, all you're going to really need to do is add the nose here and then add a blue part for her eyes and then a white dot for her eyes and she's done. So I'm just going to take a piece of transfer tape here, just cut a little piece off and then I'm going to start with her nose. So I'm just going to take my transfer tape this up, and put it on here. Use my little squeegee. I like to peel things up backwards. See how it looks and if it comes off and here it is and then you just want to line it up on here and it's kind of neat because you see the black part behind it so it's just like that and then the next part is you want to take the eyes so this little half a moon here and then I'll just take it and use my squeegee again same transfer tape and then put those down at the bottom, but you want to line it up really well. About there. And then just use my fingers and put them down. And then the last part is just the little parts of the eyes. So, oops, those are his. They're tinier. Hers are smaller little dots. So here, and I'm just going to use my squeegee again. And I don't think I weeded this out because they were so tiny. So I just left the rest of the vinyl there, but there's one, and then there's the other one. Oops, stuck on my finger, of course. So we'll start with the one. You just wanna put it almost in the middle. I'm just gonna use my finger and push it down. Don't want anything else to come up. There. And then, unfortunately, the other one got stuck on my finger here, so. Sometimes it happens. I'm just going to take my little weeder and get that off and put that down roughly where the other one is. Same on the other side. And then my transfer tape got stuck to the rest of her eye, so I'm just going to take that off carefully. And that is it. She is very simple to do, so that is it. That's all you have to do. So I'm just going to take transfer tape and put her on one of my tiles as well. But let's work with the snowman. So he's a little bit more difficult, unfortunately. So I'm kind of going from memory here, but I have it as you're going to want to put the black eye down first, and then your white piece, then your blue piece, then your black piece, and then your white your little white eyeballs. So you're gonna wanna work backwards. So that's why I lay it down. So I'm gonna take my transfer tape that I was already using. I'm gonna start with the white. Use my squeegee. And I'm going to put the white right on the black. So I'm just finding the center part here. Once you get it, push it down. Pull your transfer tape up. And then you can put your transfer tape down again, kind of pointless, but I wanted to get it in the middle. And then you want to take both pieces off, the black and the white now. I like to flip it upside down so I can see what I'm doing and make sure I got everything. So now you have this part. So now you want to work with the blue. And you want to line them up. Line them up with each other. It didn't really work too well. There. Line them up. Use your squeegee again. Pull the blue part up. And then just keep layering. So now I'm going to take the bigger eye piece and put this down. And it's easier if you have like design space open and you can see what the eyes look like rather than just kind of blindly doing it. But I've done so many of these already that I'm kind of getting used to how to layer them. 
So there's how that looks so far. And then you just want the white, the black piece. But this one, you want to make sure that you have your piece the right way, that it's not flipped upside down. Because it does go backwards on you. And this, you just want to see just a little bit of the black behind it. So there. So that is finished. I swear that was the hard part, guys. So there it is. There's the eyes. Isn't that cute when it all comes together? So I just flip it back upside down, making sure I get everything together. There we go. See? Isn't that cute? And then you want to find him, the face, and then just line it up directly under his eyebrows and then squeegee it on really well. Now you want everything to stick on here because you still have to do the nose. Whoops, and took his eyebrow up, uh oh. Don't wanna take that piece. So the last piece is just his nose. So you just wanna take that, squeegee it on, and then place his nose on. And you can do it at an angle, you can do it however you want. It's kinda of fun to play around with it and figure out what angle you want the nose at but that was it so now I'm going to take a different piece of transfer tape that it's big enough to go over these two let's clean my mess up over here and then just take it and put it on a tile so I'm just gonna take another piece transfer tape is just sitting here and put that over it use your squeegee make sure you get it on there really well all the pieces Get your tile ready. I have one here. Pick it up. Okay, and I like to work backwards. Can you see everything that's coming up? Perfect. And then you just want to line it up on your tile. Looks good to me. So that is it. And you just want to take your squeegee and get them down really well. And then I like to, it's kind of curved on the, on the sides here, so I just like to take my thumb as well. And just kind of go over it and make sure it's all stuck on there really well. There. Isn't that cute? I love it so much. So just the same thing with her. Use the same piece of transfer tape. Put it over. Squeegee it really well. And then I'm going to grab another tile quick. So I have a tile here. Work backwards. And then find the center. Make sure the eyebrows stay on. Use your squeegee. And that is it. I love how these guys turned out. I absolutely love these. They are just like melting my heart how cute these guys are. I love anything to do with snowmen. Whoops, don't want to get that up. So just peel your transfer tape back. Look at that. I'm like in love with these guys. So like I was saying before, you can use your felt if you cut it out with the sticky background. Or you can use cardstock. Or I was even thinking, why couldn't you put vinyl on the back? So maybe I'll put a few with the vinyl on the back. But since I have these cut out already, I'm just going to finish using these. So I just take the back and then center it. And unfortunately, mine did not cut out exactly the same size of my ornament. But what do I say, guys? Nothing's perfect when you make it, right? So there. So that is finished. There's the back. Like I said, it's kind of rough on the edges here, but I think that all has to do with handmade, that it's not perfect, and you know that a machine didn't make it, that a person actually made it. So I'm just going to use another one of these. I'm going to have to look up what these things are called. I'm not really sure, but I got them off of Amazon, and then you just take it like I did before and glue it on the back here, and then you can use whatever you want to, whoops, whatever you want to hang it, like this. Whoops, backwards. So there you, you can use whatever you want to hang it. But I'm going to finish these guys up. I have all these ones finished here. I really love how they turned out. I have the backing on each of them so that they won't scratch each other. So those are really fun to make. 
stay tuned for my next uh, video because I'm going to be showing you how to use to make uh, one of these, but the Grinch. So stay tuned for that. It's pretty much the same process, but there's a different way to make this a different color rather than just having it white in the face. So I'm going to finish this up. Stay tuned to see what they look like, but I, gosh, these just melt my heart how cute these are. So I'm going to finish them up. I'll show you what they look like and then stay tuned for my next video because I'm going to be doing Grinches next. So stay tuned, guys. I absolutely love Christmas time and I love creating handmade crafts to give out as Christmas presents. I hope you enjoyed this how to create ornaments using tile tutorial and will go and create your own Christmas ornaments. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Happy holidays everyone and happy crafting!